today we're in northwest london to seek out something that us brits are great at fish and chips we've each been given a budget i've got 10 pounds 20 pounds i've been given 40 pounds and we're going to meet up together in primrose hill to compare all three So I've come to Hook in Camden, who are these self-proclaimed new school fish and chips and have some really amazing batters and interesting breadcrumbs, so I can't wait to try them. That was such an Ebbers thing to do. Cheers. Thank you. I'm going to be going there to Poppies of Camden, which has been going for the last few years and is supposed to do incredible fish and chips. I'm going to be ordering battered cod, large chips, and maybe something for me because I'm a little bit hungry. And a battered sausage, please. Thank you so much. Right, I have my fish and chips. Time's head. I'm not even looking at the lens, you dick. Come to the seashell of Lisson Grove where they sell Dover salt and it's on the bone, it sounds really chefy, and I think it's perfect for my budget. Hello, Hi. I've been told that you have Dover salt. Could I have a Dover salt and a large chips, please? I have my fish and chips. Look at that, it looks amazing. I cannot wait to show the guys. I've now got to make my way back to compare them with the others. Oh, hey! <laughs> So excited. I think you're as excited for Dover Soul as I am for a battered sausage. Uh, oh. <laughs> so far, more money equals more packaging. <laughs> <laughs> okay boys, £10 budget. This is some cod in panko Ooh. breadcrumbs. It's Ooh. a Malaysian oh curry fish and chips. What? So that is a ginger ketchup and this was £10 exactly. That is unlike any other fish and chip shop chip I've ever had. The ketchup is really tangy. Not spicy at all. Well, I thought they were sweet potatoes at first. Yeah. yeah. There's, um, there's flavour through it. I think it, it must be in the breadcrumbs, right? Yeah. It's like a slight spice in the breadcrumbs. I feel like the fish tastes of some kind of herb. Curry flavours with fish and chips works perfectly. Let's ramp it up. 20 pounds or 14 pounds. Box number one. Classic. Nice. Fish and chip shop chips. They look classic. Box number two. Cha -cha. <laughs> classic looking cod with some extra cod bits. I spent 14 pounds, um, two pound 30 of which went on a battered sausage. <laughs> you have six pounds left after that. Yeah, well, I thought oh, I'd get- Look at that. No, just, just... Okay. Oh, doing Everything's a sandwich to you, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I want a traditional fish and chips to taste like. Yeah. yeah. You've got a crispy batter. The fish is flaky. Try some of these chips. And the flavour. I think in a traditional fish and chip shop, the flavour comes from the oil that's used over and over again. Mm -hmm. And you can just taste. You can taste the flavour of that oil, which might sound weird, I don't know. But in both the chips and the fish, you can taste it. Come on. This man is excited. Please let me eat this. Okay, I went to this incredible place called the Seashell of Listen, and it's been around since the First World War. It's got a restaurant attached to it, but it's also a takeaway. I had 40 quid to spend. <laughs> yeah. So, being a chef. You got a pizza? Oh, oh mate. Oh, mate. mate. Literally just going all the way down. It's got these bones going through it. This is but the they, xylophone going through it. <laughs> but they, they stay, so there's no like little ones to, to get in your way. That is the thing that I can't stand with fish is like every bite thinking, am I going to choke on a bone? Phrasing, boom! <clears throat> Inappropriate. Because it's grilled and not fried, you get all the seasoning that's on it, so you get a nice really big hit of pepper. You get some parsley, it's really well seasoned. Some lemon squeezed over the top. And it's just really fresh. And because you grill it as well, you get that browning on top. 
which, as we know with something like steak, is where all the flavour is. Hands in. How else are you going to treat 30 pounds worth of fish? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That's, that's amazing. That is amazing. Let's talk money. All right, I think for 10 pounds, yours is a bargain. I completely agree. I, I think that's great. 100% agree with that. That's unusual and unexpected, and I would be happy to pay 10 pounds for that. Jay, yours, Poppy? 14 quid. Yep. I'd say that was worth it. I think for a traditional fish and chips, it is on the expensive side, but I think it's worth it because it's exactly what you want in a traditional fish and chips. Now, the big question is, James, oh, here we go. Would you say that your Dover Soul was worth 32 pounds? Yeah, I would. The, you know, that, that is what you pay for Dover Soul. Weirdly, without having tasted it, I wouldn't have risked spending 30 quid. Mm, yeah. Having tasted it now, I would go back and spend another 30 pounds on it. The thing is, what I would like to know is number one, should we do more of these? Maybe not with fish and chips, maybe with something else in London. And secondly, if we were to come to your city where you live, what should we eat? Oh, nice question. Because I think we should do more out and about stuff. Yeah. I'm not sure what we've learned other than we're really great at picking fish and chips individually. <laughs> London does really good fish and chip shops. Take out. Take out. Oh. 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 London. <laughs> <laughs> click on the left if you missed our last video or click on the right video for one of our favorites